This is CBS. A monster hunt on Lake Champlain is leading underwater explorers to a wealth of new shipwrecks. They brought in side-scan sonar and robot cameras, and in the black depths of Lake Champlain, they found ships so well-preserved that each trip down is like a journey to the past. Tom Grant reports. Here we go. Apache Pastor first came to Lake Champlain on a monster hunt. He had joined a group looking for Champ, the legendary serpent. But the side-scan sonar turned up a legend of another sort, a shipwreck. Shipwrecks themselves were so spectacular and so emotionally uh, moving for us as divers and visitors, these explorers, to see these things for possibly the first time in 100 years a human being had been on the vessels. Lake Champlain is 400 feet deep. Temperatures below the thermocline run in the low 40s. Nothing down there eats at the wood and the textiles. When Pastor dove, he found wrecks unlike anything he'd seen in a warm and salty ocean. As you go down deeper, it's kind of these big windows that open up. And to finally land on the vessel, you don't really see a clear picture of it until you're four or five feet away. As that wreck opens up and you start to get a real visible context by which you can get any perception of the, the length of the ship and the condition of it, you, it's, it never ceases to amaze me, this incredible rush up the spine. Moments from three wars and centuries of commerce have been lost and frozen in time beneath Lake Champlain. The most famous of those moments is still lost. A moment from the Revolutionary War when Benedict Arnold fled from the British and scuttled one of his gondolas. The half of the excitement is you never know what you'll find, to the bones, to the artifacts, to any types of clues indicating why it was sank or what it was carrying. These dives are dives into that past. Um, it's, again, a picture of time. A uh, hundred years has been capsulized and placed into a situation where you can not only visit the wreck, but feel like you are traveling back into time. And to this is a horse-powered ferry, probably the only relic of its kind left in the world. It sunk in the mid-1800s. Two horses would walk on a treadmill driving the gears that turned the paddle wheels. But those fragile arms make this one of Lake Champlain's most sensitive wrecks. A dropped anchor could destroy parts of it. Now what happened, unfortunately, very few people know this, is that in the 19th century and in the early 20th century, a lot of these very historic boats, a lot of Benedict Arnold's boats and other boats were just dragged out of the water for as souvenirs. Pastor and his robot partner are in the business of preserving these wrecks. During the past two summers, they've worked to create a video document of the ships as they lie on the bottom. This is the Phoenix, one of three wrecks marked as an underwater state historic preserve. The video he takes will tell archeologists how well the wreck survives its contact with sport divers. We deliberately, as a state, as the managers, we leave the artifacts on. Sport divers, like uh, diving on sites that have everything on there. That's what makes an interesting dive site. The Phoenix burned in 1819. Now it rests with the Lingcod, 110 feet down. It's the oldest steamship hull known, and a treasure all by itself. But off in the darkness, there may be so much more. Tom Grant, Channel 3 News, Lake Champlain.